something that sounds so peaceful today is Earth Day, meaning it's a great time to get outside and enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer. And it comes at a time when many people, though, are worried about protecting nature. A new Siena College study finds more than half of all New Yorkers are concerned about the state of our planet. At least half of those surveyed say they're very concerned about water and air pollution, deforestation, climate change, and a loss of biodiversity. Well, some of the natural wonders that people are hoping to protect are right here in western New York. We know our area has plenty of hiking and nature trails. As the weather starts to get nice again, expect more people to take advantage and hit those trails. But it's also important that we keep them well maintained. All new for you this morning, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps looking at what you can do to keep the trails throughout western New York looking pristine. No matter the season, you can always count on Mother Nature to deliver here in Western New York. The eternal flame that we're at here, we've got Letchworth State Park, the Niagara Gorge. We've just got some great outdoor resources to take advantage of. Mike Radomski is the CAO, Chief Adventure Officer of Outside Chronicles. He's out on the trails several times a week and says so many more people have been taking advantage. You go out in the trails and there's people everywhere. It's great to see people outside. Outside Chronicles is hosting their annual hiking challenge and this year's is bigger than ever before. Radomski says they will exceed $70,000 in donations and have 3,500 hikers taking part. I think because of COVID, uh, there's been a three times increase in trail users at the county parks in, in Erie County. Jacob Bodeway manages and builds over 125 miles of trails in Western New York as president of the Western New York Mountain Bicycling Association. Coordinating volunteers to make Western New York a great place to uh, hike and mountain bike. There are miles and miles of trails to manage, and more hikers can mean more work for them and those who run the Finger Lakes Trail Conference. It's just more or less uh, um, educating folks and making sure they know what to do um, when they go out to enjoy. And for Earth Day this year, they ask hikers to focus on doing their part. Leave a place better than you found it. So whether you're a hiking beginner or a seasoned master of the trails like me, here are a few things you can do to keep our trails safe and fun for everyone. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. I told you I'm new. Knowing where you're going, uh, planning ahead is huge. Know if you're on private, county, or state property and know their rules. When in doubt, just follow the signs. The trails are marked for a reason. It's both for your safety and also to protect the vegetation around you. Next, be clean. The principles of leave no trace. Take a garbage bag with you, pick up some trash. Even if it's just one bottle, it'll help. No one's going to clean up after you when you leave a natural area. And lastly, do everything you can to stay safe have a map. We sell trail maps for most of our trail systems. Make sure you have emergency contact information on your phone. Be aware of yourself and be aware of others and be kind. In Orchard Park, Taylor F7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Taylor. The Western New York Trash Mob is hosting a, con a cleanup competition today. Here's how it works. Pick an area to clean up, grab a trash bag, clean and take some pictures as you go along and tag WNY Trash Mob on Facebook. A panel of judges will select winners based on a number of categories, including amount of trash collected and strangest find. We've got more information right now on WKPW.com. We're going to have to pay attention to what strangest find was because <laughs> I really want to know. All right, trending this morning, two of the hosts of Good Morning America soon going to be giving the answers in the form of a question. GMA co-host Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos, the next round of fill-in hosts for Jeopardy. There have been a number of guest hosts since Alex Trebek passed away. Right now, CNN's Anderson Cooper.